everybody, it's Shrewboy313 and welcome to a brand new let's play on my channel of Knee Deep. I saw this like on one of my queues on Steam as like a recommended game and then just from how it looked it looked really interesting to me like the tags said it was like a sort of like a story driven like choices matter game and it didn't look like it was like if I'd like to <laughs> oh my goodness. I've said the word like about seven times in like th three sentences. Oopsie. But yeah, I don't. It just looked interesting, and I wanted to let's play it. So while Pokemon Platinum is still going up and having Sonic Adventure a finish up to whatever my degree was, I thought after all that niceness, we should go to something a little darker. Well, apparent mm, that doesn't sound great. Apparently, this is. A, I say darker it involves. I'm not sure. I read that it involves murder, but also that it's staged, like it's all a theatre act. It's like one of those, I think the thing that I read about it, like, there is that, sorry I just stopped because I said like again, that it's actually no, from what I'm about to say like feeds in well to the sentence that this is like one of those sort of a live action theatre thing where you like follow around what's happening. I don't know, that's what I heard, what I read. And um, I'm playing with the controller because there's full controller support, just because I'm a lazy pile of garbage. And you can tell which option I'm selecting because it gets highlighted green, so I've spoken for long enough, even though I'm gonna be speaking throughout the entire thing. Let's start a new game. Hooray! Oh, Act 1 Wonderland. Nice. Let's go. As Taylor Swift would say, we found Wonderland. Right, um, let's have a look. Selection, open, close. Yeah, I'm not playing on an Xbox One controller. <laughs> right, RB and LB, okay. Continue. Oh, frame rate, chill. It dropped to like 10 all of a sudden for no reason. Settle in for a night at the theatre. Um, silence. <laughs> the okay, stage is a... set. The I broader script's really written, cool. but your choices shape how other characters react to you. Okay. Wait, as an audience member? Oh, this is really cool already. You if can lose friends, respect, and the moral high ground. <laughs> Can't. Lose the game. Uh, friends respect to the moral high ground. Oh, honey, they've gone a long time ago. Musicians tune their instruments in preparation for the show. You're people. the star, oh, playing our you. three main characters blogger Romana T, Me. print reporter Jack Bellin, also and detective me. Casey Gaddis. Also me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue Theater <coughs> welcomes you to this production. Let's play this game. Please, but no videos or flash photography. Oops, Enjoy no videos. The show. This whole thing is a video. But yeah, I don't know how no one's done a let's well, I say no one's done a let's play of it yet. I mean as of when I'm recording this. Right. The curtain rises on Act of Knee Deep. This is really cool. I mean I mean it's oh. Oh. another beautiful Florida sunset. Tainted by a dangling corpse. Am I need, gonna need to remember these details because I am not a good detective. Just gonna say that. Remember, life is strange. Um, a sad ending. Still. It's a bitter conclusion for the downward arc of Tag Kern's sporadically illustrious Hollywood career. Wait, found by dead dogs? by a janitor at yes. Chief Roadside's Wonderland. We found Wonderland. You Nope, it's a horrible switch. job on the best of days. Eh, not the Shit, not again. Ah, right, so I'm gonna have to put that warning at the start Meanwhile, of this video. Meanwhile, on I-95, Romana Teague, stuck in traffic, dodging her editor, hunting for a last chance. Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So young and soon to be so unemployed. Cypress Knee's not far. This story could save my ass with Lenny. Right, I'm gonna hope that these sounds aren't too loud, but I'm gonna be. Because I don't want 
The traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock. I didn't think it would take him so long to call. Bad enough I'm stuck in traffic. Why add Lenny to my grief? Cool, thanks. <laughs> Again, this is re like a really cool concept. Ramon T, better known as Phaedra. Top blogger at FanRage for the past three years. <laughs> and you're only 20. Not bad on the Kardashian fame scale. Yeah, but she's doing things. Oh, I want to see what give us strange responses. On the Homeland Security scale? I'm pewter. You've been in the thick of the current story. That's what I do. Or did. Once upon a time, anyway. Good show. I'm currently watching it right now. Good gig? Uh, show. Kept me and the cat from living in the car. We've got some questions. Okay, if you Not a lot of people left to give answers. Okay, Mary. That's on you, I think. Why is he wearing sunglasses indoors? Indoors, even. I had help. Kenny? Why'd you get sacked? Oh no, um... Uh... Oh no... Um... Deception? I hacked a competing blog, made them look bad. They traced it back to me. Your editor must have been furious. Why isn't hacking illegal though? Um... Can't blame him. I'm mad at myself too. Okay. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news, right? Uh, where was I? I was in traffic. Right now, I'm wishing I drove the other way. Hard to resist news like that, though. Yes. Tad Kern killed himself, they said. Right, so basically you're making a decision on every single thing she but said. that wasn't even the real story. Oh, it's getting deep, guys. It's getting deeper already. Apparently there's three acts to this, so who knows how long the game's gonna last. I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up after I've done this video. Oh. Oh, she's moving to the center. Okay. Okay, moving at those speeds, she would have gotten flung off, wouldn't she? I would have thought she would have done. Clues, lore, and archived reports are in the journal. Open the journal with J on keyboard, which I'm not using, or back on the controller. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Law. Okay. Phaedra, Tadka and Dead, Lenny Spruce. Uh, let's just look up one. Okay. And a chief. They're in it. Oh, there's only two acts. Okay. Right. There. Uh, the infamous Phaedra finds herself in the forgotten tourist town of Cyprus Knee. Uh, can't keep I can only duck Lenny's calls for so long. This makes a nice distraction, though. He might even cut me some slack. Hey, if you get a story out of it, you might do. Of course, Lenny gives about as much slack as an arthritic conga line. Freaky family. I remember hearing about an incestuous family living in an old school bus here once. Yeah. Headlines back in 2004 talked about Aunt Mom and Uncle Dad. Uncle Dad? I've heard Uncle Dad before from somewhere, I don't know where. More going down with Kern than appears. New phone, who dis? You're not in my contacts list. I'm a big fan, call me Anonymous. 
pretty straightforward. Hanged himself from a tacky Indian tower, no great mystery. So open, not so open and shut. What do you know about it? A few things will help when I can. Start with Gordon Cordray, church bigwig. You break your shift button? <laughs> Why shout? Until next time! Uh, sure, let's answer Lenny. Hi, Lenny. CTM didn't think that video of two dogs humping in their blog header was funny. Surprised? Yes, give a strange response. I couldn't find footage of a dog with a walrus. <laughs> Might come as a surprise to you, but fan rage does have some ethical standards. Really? I've not noticed any... Won't happen again. You screwed up before, but never anything of this magnitude. Go big or go home, yeah? <laughs> You're on your ninth life, kitty. Tell me, how you plan to justify your phony baloney job now? I'm at ground zero for the death of Tad Kern. Get something online soon. Make it good. And no more mistakes. Good or right? I can make sure it's interesting, or I can make sure it's correct. Thanks. No guarantees for both. Right, I need a drink. Excuse us, me. Hooray, a protest. Just what I Don't thought. support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. Um, well, I agree with him, but I don't know what these responses are gonna say. Yeah. Tacky? It's tacky, sure, but it's mostly harmless. How can you say it's harmless? It depicts Native Americans with demeaning stereotypes. Oops, sorry, dude. Well, that does seem rude. Might be hope for you. Hooray! He doesn't hate I'm me. here about Tag Kern, anyway. Oh, right. You're that blogger. You've Phaedra? That I read your stuff. Rude. I fell for that hoax last year, too. Thought Jim Larman was yanking my chain when he told me. I thought that was commenting on him, not the actual thing. What's with the fancy motor coach? I don't know, people on a bus tour. Those folks are with the church of us. You know, the weists. <laughs> Kern was one of them. What is a weist? <laughs> oh dear. Maybe they can tell me more. Sure, okay. Maybe. Or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. Your relationship with other characters, yikes. This is a really deep game, it's cool. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner. Yeah, sure, why not? I thought, we're just going in the motel, okay, choose a fact. Well, I mean, there's only one fact. Um, Native American Robert Woodstep protested against the racial stereotypes embodied by the chief roadside to Wonderland in Cypress Knee. The town may be best known for an incestuous couple called Aunt Mom and Uncle Dad. Um, okay, what does Edgy say? Oh, you can look at... Oh, you can look at them all, okay. Woodstep took advantage of the media attention of the rundown, blah blah blah, don't support culturally institutionalized racism, blah blah blah. Town made headlines, uh, sure, Edgy, why not? Woodstep may appreciate the attention. Cool. Lenny Spruce is getting clicks, Phaedra, but it's so this hamster in a tutu video. You're a prismatic, at the very least. Prismatic world tour, eh? Uh, confused? That makes as much sense as clock hands on a spoon. Are you ready for the opto levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. <sighs> what? An opto, huh? The test measures your status within the Church of Us. Oh, okay. The lowest possible level is primordial. The highest rank one may attain is dark matter. Well, I mean, dark matter is pretty. Gotcha. Easy. I feel like there's a lot happening in these episodes. Already. Like Fifteen minutes in. Sure. Sure. A critical choice. Oh my goodness! Hey, look, it's the male agent. Oh wait, we have to take this on a gangly old computer. Don't be, oh lord. Is this gonna get really deep? Let's get on with it. Life. Choose the best colour. Um Cerulean that's basically blue red, some kind of pale purpley lilac. I don't 
actually know what colour saffron is. Um, uh, Pokemon Red and Blue. What colour was Saffron City? I don't. I don't remember. I'll go with lavender because it's kind of purple. Maybe the colour smells pretty. Yeah, it's kind of purpley, and I like purple. What's the best number? One thirty-three or one hundred and thirty-seven. One hundred and thirty-seven because I like the number. If it was a fever, I'd be dying. <laughs> Which smells best? Red. Smell oh, that fresh baked smell. Are aliens among? I don't even know what obfuscate means. Wait, among us? I don't know. How am I? What does obfuscate mean? Oh, let's just go with it. I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, okay. Are you even really trying? Well, I mean, I was. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You're great. Oh, yikes. Um. Uh, um. You know what? This is getting a bit too deep for my online persona. Let's just. I'm gonna close my eyes and pick one of these at random. Find a strong partner. Okay. Raise some kids. Build a life. Sure. The device cannot. Oh no. <laughs> Apparently I'm too boring. <laughs> well, at least you tried. Uh, that goes a long way with the boss. He'll catch up with you later to talk about Kern. Maybe next time. Maybe I'll do better on another go-round. Later, Phaedra. Bye. Alright. Time to chat with the man who found Kern dangling from that tower. Cool. I don't know, but in my ears, people talking is sound sounding really loud. So I don't know how it comes across, like, in comparison to my commentary, like, whether it's gonna, like, completely drown out what I'm saying. Which is sort of why I'm trying to let them speak and then speak after them. But as I've said several times already, this is, like, such a unique and, like, it's a really interesting concept and I'm loving it so far. It is really cool. Because I'm legitimately see nothing like it. It is really awesome. Right, so that game seems to seem cloud tends to suggest we can only play from certain parts. Right, what happens if I press start? Options, right. Okay, um, let's talk to Remy Dixon, why not? Remy Bay, you didn't know. You can't put a convenience store close to a supermarket in Indonesia. Sure. That's good to know. Yeah. Remy always happy to help. Why are you speaking in third person? Stay spicy, dude. Cool, that was. That was definitely. Yeah, I a watched Apollo 11 launch from that tower back when I was your age. Um, small tower? That small rocket tower. must have been really small to fit on that tower before launch. You should have seen the guys inside. Can you confirm that the man hanging from the tower tonight was Tad Kern? I guess sure looked like him. Had a wallet with his driver's license inside, too. A license phone? How'd that DMV picture look? Mine adds 20 years and a healthy dose of meth addict. Didn't give it okay. much more than a glimpse, but you know he looked a lot taller in the movies. Shrimpy, dude. <laughs> was Kern alone? Who knows? Nope, he was here with some folks from the Red Eclipse movie studio. Location filming, I think. Why is messy scene kind of grayed out? Was the death scene a pain to clean up? Hey, it could have been worse. <laughs> At least he didn't jump. Or Christ, shotgun. Yeah. Any idea why Kern killed himself? Have you seen his latest movies? Yikes. Did Kern scream Sweet at the last right second? Down. Like, maybe he changed his mind? That's a morbid question. But no, he didn't scream. Not the yeah. Are the Red Eclipse folks still here? Phaedra, that is kind of dark. Yeah, I think so. Last I saw, they were hanging out at Hungry Chiefs. Okay. How's the food? Depends. How much do you love hugging a toilet? I'll look for them there. Another blog post ahead. Pick a source, a clue, a spin, and publish. Okay. And I think that... Better get what I can to the blog before Lenny pops an aneurysm. Yeah, I think that is going to be it for this episode, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos, and I will see you guys next time for more Knee Deep, because this is really cool.